Good morning, folks. We've got the release of another plasma filament on the sun. Geomagnetic storms expected in the coming days. Weather, seismicity, and science as we start with our star. And we find increased eruptive activity both at the limbs and at central plasma filament. One component is definitely ejecting to the left from this view, but some of the other components may have pushed out straight at Earth. One of the limb eruptions produced a modest C-class solar flare as well. All of these are minor, but they will add to whatever the departing coronal hole delivers in the next two days. We're already having sustained geomagnetic instability from the last one, and so we expect the coronal hole stream impact will produce storm conditions and aurora. We'll be watching the solar wind. Strange earthquakes in Alberta, Canada last night peaked at 5.3, which didn't cause damage, but which are tremendously rare for the region. Tornadoes dropped out of the storm system in the south. Here's the geo color with lightning overlay from the NOAA satellites. Severe risk lingers into today as the storm is moving eastward. To follow the story we covered yesterday about the high snow marks in the north, we've got record cold for November in the South Pole. Only lower latitude air intrusion is south of the Americas and doesn't even make it onto the continent. Could see more records fall in the coming days. We're heading out next to RCW 36 where astronomers used a combination of infrared and x-rays to determine what was controlling star formation and the evolution of the cluster. They found that the powerful stars efficiently blew away the interstellar gases that could have contributed to further formation and faster evolution of the system, which is the key factor in determining not only the number of stars, but the overall spacing and density of these kinds of clusters. Lastly on the article front, good paper on those millennial scale climate shifts known as Dansgaard Oeschger events here. It's nice to see so much focus in the journals on these events where up to 8 degrees of warming in as little as 40 years means they make modern climate change look like nothing. We went over this cycle and others last night and how they are triggered by solar activity. And by the way, if you haven't been catching them, we've been getting a second video out to you guys almost daily here in Q&A style and enjoying it as well. If you live close enough to Houston, Come on out for the event on Sunday. Tickets are available at the link below the video. Limited spots available. We'll have lunch, do a live Q&A, and also have observer chat time, which is always like a family reunion. We greatly appreciate your support. Tickets, books, merchandise, playlists, one-on-one -on -one calls, all found at the links below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.